I'm Alexia Maria Orwello, reporting for Hollywood Connections on TN Talk Radio here at the 2016 Gasparilla International Film Festival, and I'm here with... Rick Lynch. Oh, how are you doing today? I'm great. You know, I love being here in Tampa, and uh, it's our first time at the Gasparilla International Film Festival. Uh, I am a co-director uh, for Craven Cuba. And uh, we're really excited about that. The world premiere is going to be tomorrow, and that will be in Ybor City. And uh, so we're really excited about being here and what we're, you know what the audiences are going to be like and what they have been like tonight. And how did you get on board to be the co-director of Cra Craving Cube? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, my wife came up with the whole concept of the movie. Uh, she is Cuban American. And uh, so with my uh, interest in uh, not only film, but in Cuba and um, Cuban Americans, we together said, let's make this movie and really get it out to the perspective of what Cuban Americans feel about what's going on. But also, I came in and uh, always consistently said, what do you think? any other American might think about this or how they would look upon it or how we would see it. It's uh, a lot different. Um, you get a perspective from the Latino American and from the average gringo American. Have you ever done any other kind of directing before or any filmmaking? Well, I did many years ago go to film school, and um, but uh, I've worked on some videos and worked on television uh, before in the past, but this is our first uh, documentary, uh, and I'm really excited about the co you know, us together working on this together and making it happen. So I heard that you have, you're going to be also having different showings and different film festivals. Which other one are you most excited for looking forward to? Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're going to be at Atlantic City, and that's going to be uh, next week's Atlantic City. We're also going to be in the Tiburon uh, Film Festival in Marin County, California, right outside of San Francisco. And uh, we're going to be putting into a bunch of other film festivals as well, and we just can't wait to have it seen by more and more people, and then people to really understand what it is um, to be craving Cuba. And if there's any way that people can contact you as a director for, you know, maybe future jobs that they might want you to work on after they see your work, is there any website or Facebook that you can share for people to find you? Yeah. Well, I think the best thing right now is come to our website, come to Craving Cuba. Uh, the One of the best things we like to do is if we're tweeting or if we're just out there uh, on Facebook. You know, nowadays it's the best way is because it shows pictures of tonight. It will show pictures of tomorrow and it's going to always keep up on uh, major media events that are going on with Cuba and then in that way they could get a hold of myself or uh, Zuzi Martin Lynch the other co-director so right now the, the after party is coming right now for the you know for the night premiere are you gonna be looking forward to going to the party tonight I am I can't wait to get a good cocktail and uh, to drink uh, and uh, raise a toast to uh, Cuba Libre <laughs> and is there any other films that you might be looking forward to for the film festival this week you know I've been meeting some of the other directors and other uh, actors and there's a lot lot of films out here that I can't wait to see. I think in the next couple of days, even though it's a beautiful weather out here in Tampa, I'll probably be indoors and just uh, having popcorn and watching all these great movies. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time. It was a real pleasure Appreciate meeting you. It. Thank great you job. so much. I'm Alexia Maria and stay tuned for more interviews from Gasparilla International Film Festival. Bye.